Yo, what's good? I hope everybody's enjoying the reason rack. I wanted to go ahead and um show you guys what I've been working on and um you know how the program is actually performing for me. On the overall of it, everything is running real smooth. There ain't no lagging, there ain't no delay or anything like that. But I mean if anybody still if or anybody's using the program as well as I am um, and Ableton, it, I mean, they did see like their CPU might be jumping up a little bit or whatever. So it is what it is on that until, um, we get another update either from Reason or Ableton. I mean, um, I'm starting to think, is it, is it Reason or is it Ableton that's making the CPU really jump up? So what I'm did, what I did right here is... I ran 16 tracks of just a reason rack by itself with um, no third party plugins or no internal Ableton um, sounds. Um, I just show you guys what I put on, on the tracks real fast. I'm just going to scroll through them because you guys know what they look like or what they are already. I'm just going to show you some might have a couple effects on them and some don't. So, I mean, this is like the first track. It's the second, third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's see what I got here on fourteen. That's fourteen right there. And there's fifteen. And there's 16. All right, so that's my 16 tracks right there. Um, it, it's still running good. I mean, I'm, I'm not getting any latency or any any glitching or anything with it running like that at all. I mean, but I am still kind of curious about that CPU. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just kind of like dead power just going to waste, just sucking up. I'm, I'm not even um, hitting anything right now. And the CPU is at 32, and I'm not clicking anything. And I'll show you guys um, a little bit out there while I play the beat, so you guys can see what it is with all 16 tracks loaded up of the Reason Rack. Now the next test I probably put up uh, within the next couple of days, it'll be just using just the internal sounds of, of Ableton just to see. I mean. If it if it's the rack that's making it jump up like that, or is it the way that I'm loading it up with 16 individual tracks and I'm not um, tracking it out like you know how they expect what well, reason supposed to work? I mean, uh, to me, I think the rack is supposed to be um, it's made to do both things. It's made to stack your instruments so you can create your own sound with individual tracks, and then the other tracks that you don't have. You're supposed to be able to track those out. I mean, you can do that um, using, you know, the audio tracks. I mean, but you're still using other tracks to, to do that. I mean, considering doing that and then just loading up 8 or 16 tracks of reason, I mean, wh which would you think is, is best for you? Uh, somebody leave a comment or something about that right there and... Um, I'll be willing to try both of them just to see uh, what's what's going to work best. If it's if it's going to help uh, with the CPU and stuff like that. I, I have noticed like when I use, um, like if I rewire Ableton into Logic, um, I'm not burning as much CPU power by routing the sounds out. Um, also, just routing my MPC like, I can load one instance of uh, my MPC live, and then I can ride out like maybe eight tracks, and then I use eight racks of the of the reason, and it doesn't spike as high, round it that way as well. But um, right now we're just gonna see what it do for the whole 16 tracks of reason. Um, this is not a beta. This is this is the the, the, the full program. So. Um, it was still running high during the beta, so I, this is the test now I'm doing not running a beta and um, to see how it's, how it's really going to perform now just using it 
after the release. So I'm just going to mute my mic and let you guys hear it the way I hear it. And this is using the Reason Rack for 16 tracks. Working on getting the sound plugged in. Hold on. That's what I did right there of uh, the Reason Rack um, using the 16 tracks. Um, it didn't it didn't go up very high at all. I'm gonna play it again so you, and show you exactly what it looks like now with it playing with everything in it and show you what the um, the CPU is looking like. So right now we are at 32. I'm gonna hit play. So they are playing. It's playing right now. It's just it's just muted right now, but um, you can see it. They're, they're playing right now, but um, it's at 45. So I 
mean, it's in that 44, 45. Um, some people say that's not bad. Some people say that it's okay. Some people say it's cool. Uh, some people say, I mean, 50% is, is good. I mean, I guess it's your preference or whatever. Um, there's other ways that I ran the reason rack and I actually had this hurt down to like 6%. So, I mean, there are other ways of, of routing and, and running this a different way. I mean, but I mean, like I said, I'm not pushing any buttons right now and it's at 32. But other than that, I mean, everything is running fine. I mean, everything is, is doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, I haven't been having any um, any problems or any issues uh, with anything else um, since I've been working with the beta and they, they actually have did the updates. Um, everything's running pretty good. But this is Slump Music. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.